ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Santa's Workshop. Today, we're going to show you a little bit on the Midnight Express of what happened to it. We got Bryson with us. Hello. If I can get him on camera. I'm wearing a microphone, so I assume I have to be on oh camera my, today. Oh my gosh, he didn't disappear. <laughs> and we got his mama day. And Arwen, is that correct? Hi, Arwen. How old is she now? She, uh, her birthday's in August. In August, so she'll be a year old in August. Yep. Same month as Bryson. Yep. Yep, and I'll oh, be 18. Oh, just, just quit telling me that, okay? I feel old enough already. <laughs> All right, so here it is, the Midnight Express. You can see he's still, uh, still promoting the channel, Santa's Workshop, YouTube. But I want you to look at this. That, it has gone all the way through to the dash. That has, I haven't looked at the dash yet, so I do not know if it hurt it. These filler panels, these are hard to come by. You can get them new. They are expensive. I had two of them. Did I give you the other one, or is it still here in the shop somewhere? I'm not sure about that. I think okay. you might have to look for it. Okay, we'll, we'll look for that here in a minute. So, and... And of course, the back glass, it completely collapsed. And we've had it out in the barn to keep, you know, water out of it and everything. And that's where all the pigeon poo comes in. But we've also got lots of body damage. Actually busted the fiberglass on this piece. Got the roof. Now, Bryson. Yeah before the only body damage that was on this was that front fender correct yeah and uh, a ding or two on the passenger or the uh, driver door we got dents here here but this right here was the only damage previously right that was that was the cow and that driver's door but i want you all to look at this one let me see if i can get you down here there that's a good view of that one that was done by the hell as well this right here is a hellstone, right here. So yeah, we, we got quite a bit more body work to do to it. Yeah. Um, I know somebody has actually, see, where's that one? There's one, yeah, right here, right there. That close to the spoiler, it could have hit the spoiler and bounced off, but no one had to hit the metal. <laughs> but you can see the tailpipe. That was something laying in the road. It bent the tip and the you, pipe underneath. Yeah, you need to show underneath because it's really bad underneath. Well, that. I'm not going to show underneath. You can take them down and show them underneath if you want. I'm All not right. getting down that far. I'll take okay, I want to tilt it right here. You take it down and show them the pipe. Let's see if I can get it in there. There we go. But. This, this uh, exhaust system does have a crossover, which you know it was single pop to begin with. So it's not messing with the engine at all. But I do have another set of those tips. So when we're working on this, we can get him a new pop and tip on there. And it still has my custom made mufflers underneath, mm -hmm. which I don't think I've ever actually showed them under the car because I haven't, didn't have the lift before I gave this away. So we're gonna to have to put that thing on the lift when I, I get that El yeah, Camino off. Yeah, I think it look pretty cool on the lift. Yeah, so, but let's take a look inside. Please ignore the mess. He had just come back from a camping trip. Yeah, uh, so there's just no. Let me, let me go the to the side driver's side. I, I mainly want to look at that dash and look back on the, uh, the back deck. It was completely clean before I went camping. I just want everyone to know that. But you can see the glass laying upon the dash. That was from a hellstone. It went all the way through laminated glass. And then you can look back here. I mean, all across back here, it's just, it's a mess in there. So we're gonna to have to clean all that glass out. I wanna say we'll probably need to pull the interior and uh, do uh, 
Lots of vacuuming. Vacuuming and probably even steam clean. He yeah. had to he had to clean glass out of his diabetes bag because his diabetic supply bag. Oh was my in the gosh! Back and it had glass all over it. And, and for those of y'all that don't know, I don't know if I mentioned it, but Bryson is type one diabetic. I mean, look at this kid. <laughs> Nothing but a bean pole, <laughs> almost as tall as me. I'm taller and than you. You are not taller than me. <laughs> You've got like be. two inches. T you, you, even with your hat, you're not taller than me. Uh, I'm sorry. No, with my video, hair, I am. This video <laughs> is going out with you two standing side by side. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but that's, that's what we're facing. He does have a few engine issues. I think EGR valve needs replaced and some things like that. But, you know, that's typical for an older car. I have to thank Jason S. for what he has contributed to his GoFundMe Bryson. and Bryson. Yeah, I think I thank him a lot. That was absolutely insane. That'll be enough to, I think, fix every single problem on it. So that that's good. And what was the reason why you put it at $5,000? It's actually at 15000 Fifteen thousand. I just thought it looked nice. You just thought the fifteen thousand looked nice. Well, you could buy yeah. a whole new car for fifteen thousand. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's not greedy. I promise. <laughs> I just liked that number, and uh, I know it's not going to get to fifteen thousand, obviously. But right. I like. I just like the bigger number on there. So, so it's your. Uh, your OCD showing through on that, yeah. yeah. Okay. His mom's OCD changed it to five thousand. Oh, sorry. okay. <laughs> you changed it. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I did mean to, but like you said, I thought it looked greedy, so I changed it. I'm sorry. Welcome to my family. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's like okay. Mom changing the paint on my walls whenever she didn't like it. <laughs> so. You see the damage that the Midnight Express has got. Is it totaled? Well, if it was going through the insurance, yes. But we're not going through the insurance. We're going to do this ourselves. I want to put a nice paint job on it. Bryson, what color have you decided on? I still haven't decided a color, actually. Well, you know, if, you, if we get down to it and you haven't decided a color, I'll just paint it black. I know. It's going to be, it'll be a great color. It'll be a surprise for y'all. Okay, oh. a great color, a great color. I thought he said a grape color, and I'm like, no. Mama likes that. I like that. <laughs> of course she would. But we're going to get the glass replaced here probably within the next week. And we're going to uh, start gathering parts. And i got to do a shout-out to... Oh gosh, I cannot remember the name of his channel now. I'll put, I'll, I'll find it and put it up right here. But he is a YouTuber out of Durant. He does a lot of classic cars, and he told us he's got some of these Mustangs as parts cars. And we are free to come down and get what parts we need for free. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right. Well, we all got a good look at Bryson's car. It's going to take a, a lot more body work than what was originally planned, but you know, it's really not that bad. And I want to thank Jason S. from the bottom of my heart for the way he has supported this channel and my family personally. Man, thank you. That's all I can say is thank you. And I look forward to meeting you in person someday. But I got to show you something else he gave me which is going to come right in handy with all those dents that we got to take out. He sent me a pro spot welder. This is the type that has the slide hammer. You poke, let's see if we can get a focus. There we go, focus. You put that point right on the, in the center of the dent, hit the trigger, and then you tap it with your slide hammer, pulls it out, and since that is copper, it'll release, and you just do that over and over until you get that dent exactly where you want it. Grind it down, primer it, do a little surface putty on it. Heck, you might even get it good enough you don't need surface putty. But that right there is gonna be a game changer on that Mustang, and especially on this. I want you to look, 
me and Austin got that worked out to that point. Now that we got that spot welder, we can get all those other little indents out like right in there. You can see that real good right there. We'll get that worked out to where there's gonna be hardly any putty on that. And the less putty I use on this car, the better I want to like it. There's a couple of little dings. I don't know if you can see them. Kind of right above the wheel well there. But I mean, for the most part, this thing is straight as an arrow. We got one right there. Work you around. There you can see it. Got the one right up here. This is the side that took up most of the damage from the storm. So that right there, that was an actual hit. But this, got one little one right there. Most of this is good. We got several right there because that, that's going to take a little bit of smoothing. But thank you to Jason S. I have my door skin for the driver's door on this. Passenger door, we got just one little spot of rust down in the bottom corner, a couple of small dings. That will be able to be worked out just fine. Because of some health issues in the family, I have not been able to get out here and get my line, brake line in. And I'm still waiting on the front suspension bushings. Tracking says they should be here sometime today but I gotta get this video done and out for y'all. But this thing is going to start coming together real quick when I get back on it. Get you a go, good close look at these. These turned out just absolutely beautiful. They almost look like an aftermarket sanding, grinding all that casting off of it. We got our dust covers there. Austin painted for me. Here's my other spindle. I gotta get these pressed back in. Oh man, and we got a bunch of other new parts. And I'll show you what all else we got. Of course, I showed you the uh, AC Delco alternator the other day. And we have got a new power steering pump that's a little bit heavy got our new gates fleet runner micro v high intensity ho or belt that's going to come in handy ac delco idler pulley or tensioner, excuse me, that's the tensioner. And we get in here. Brand new AC compressor. Right here is my dryer. Now then, I want to use everything new on the air conditioner. Let's see, right there is the uh, the condenser. Now I got this for a 94 Chevy pickup. So the inlets would be on the other side of where they come out on the 79 El Camino. Yes, I wouldn't have to cut through the firewall and everything, but it'll, when I'm done with it, you would not be able to tell it from factory. And we're going to put the, uh, the serpentine belt system off of the 94 Chevy truck on it. So that's going to be a fun deal. Brian has promised me he is almost done with his project. He should be here this next week. So we get started on the motor. And I've got a quandary. And I need y'all's help. Randy, as he always is doing, ended up giving me the motor and transmission out of the 88 
or 87 Monte Carlo SS. It has a 204R transmission that is in good shape. It works great. Uh, fluid looked at decent on it. I am tempted to go ahead and put it in to El Caballero just so I won't have to do the expense on a new drive line. Um, I will have to modify the uh, transmission mount a little bit because the one I've got is for a 700R4. And if I go ahead and do the 700R4 transmission, I got to get a new drive line built, which is going to cost me around 400 to 500 bucks. So, do I go with a good used transmission or and the original drive line, which you know I would put the U joints in it, of course, or do I go ahead and do the rebuilt 700R4 that we're rebuilding here in house? I'm looking at it this way. Um, I'll go ahead and use the 200 4R, get everything you know wired up, set for it. Then, if I start having issues, I will already have the 700R4 built, ready to go. All I would have to do is, once I put it in, measure for the drive line, get it built, put it in. We got the lift, it'd be easy to do. It's not hard to work under that car. It's got plenty of room. So, tell me your thoughts. Um, save a little money right now, get things done quicker, or go ahead and get the 700R4 built and use it. I've already got the uh, stall converter for the 700. Y'all tell me what you think. I'm, I'm kind, of, uh, kind of in a quandary wondering what to do. But, as soon as those bushings get in, I'm going to get, be back on the car. Our little health crisis is um, smoothing out, no problems. And, you know, nobody's in mortal danger. So, thank you, dear Lord, for that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be this week's video. Um, just really haven't had a chance to be out here in the shop, so. Once I get my bushings, get those going, by golly, you're going to see that frame looking good. I'm going to try and get my wheels into the uh, sandblaster, get them done. I still have to buy the paint for them, but we ought to be getting those done here really quick. I would like to have them when I get everything done on that frame so I can slap the wheels on and see what it's going to look like. I, I, I just really cannot wait. And I want to thank everyone out there who has contributed to my channel who has contributed to his car who is watching our videos and sharing them thank you so much and i'm taller than him no he is not taller than me he's got like two inches to go maybe take yeah. off your hat bryson take off your hat no <laughs> no <laughs> but thank y'all bryson thank you Thank you, everybody. And have a great day. And like and subscribe. Absolutely. We'll see you next time on Santa's Workshop.